Oh, here, please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of our stool entertainment. I am so close to 100%. This is uh, a better world, a new friend. And it's actually, I'm going to combine it with hunting request number five. I thought I was going to do it separately, but then, you know what? I'm going to mash both parts up with the hunting request number five. And it is, well, interesting. To be honest with you, it kind of is worth doing, a little frustrating, a little bit of tediousness, but yeah, I am so close to 100%, I can taste it. So let's get on with Hunting Request 5, and then A Better World, A New Friend, Parts 1 and 2. Before I start the hunt, I want to mention one thing that you want to get. And that is the buck antler trinket. Player has a higher chance of receiving perfect quality animal parts. This works with carcasses. Even if you have a two carcass, it might be a three carcass when you pick it up and put it into John's satchel. My advice, go hunt the legendary buck, get the antler, and craft the trinket. The hunting request can only be done by John and it comes in the mail. The game will let you know when John is free roaming that he has mail available. And the hunting request is that John gets a cedar waxwing, a bat, a blue jay, a crow, and a beaver. The crow and beaver are probably the two easiest to get. The cedar waxwing, the bat, and the blue jay, yeah. Spawning points are notoriously unreliable, and it kind of makes this a little tedious. But let's go on with how I did it in order. Crows are pretty easy to get. I was by Lone Mule Stead, which is a spawning point, and I was trying to get a Blue Jay there. I didn't, but I got a perfect crow. And so that was one carcass of five for the wildlife art exhibit. And yeah, I was going to try and look for blue jays. Again, spawn points are notoriously unreliable. The next was the cedar waxwing. I was out behind Downs Ranch, and there's plenty of them out there that you can shoot. They come in flocks, and I just kind of shot down several birds in the area, tried to pick them off, a couple of two-star cedar wax wings. I shot them down anyway because, again, with the buck antler trinket, odds are you could get a perfect cedar wax wing. And so let's see if, yep, it's a number, jeez, oh, I overwalked it. But now pick it up and let's see what happens. Again. Perfect cedar waxwing carcass. I have now two carcasses of the three required, or of the five required. And yeah, that's due to the buck antler trinket. So let's move on to the next animal. I was out at Fort Brennan and I was lucky enough to get a blue jay. Because again, Fort Brennan is a really good spawn point. You can even find bats around there at times. But yep, I got the perfect blue jay. And to say this became tedious and, uh, how shall I say, problematic? Well, I can tell you right now, even uh, when I was hunting bats by the abandoned church, Charles showed some concern. So, you coming home anytime, John? Hey, Charles. I just been finishing up some old bits of business. I understand. 
We missed you. You coming? Soon. I promise. Okay. Again, the abandoned church in Boulder Glade is a great place to shoot bats. They come around by the bell tower, sometimes in large numbers. So it's just a game of numbers of sorts with the buck antler trinket. You shoot enough bats, you may get a perfect bat carcass. I got a second one for good measure, but obviously the next thing is the beaver, the easiest one to get. If you go to the area where you could hunt the legendary beaver, there's usually a couple in the morning by the shore, and I see one right now, so I'm going to have John take them down. don't want to skin the beaver you want to pick up the carcass and a three-star carcass I didn't even need the buck antler trinket trinket for it yeah this is a perfect beaver carcass and now I got to get him to the post office and mail some dead animals out You got this, girl. Since Van Horn is really close by, again, I'm just going to ride over to the Van Horn post office and mail out some dead animals. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I just rode through an ambush by the Murphys. Now that we are at the uh, Van Horn area we can mail out the carcasses and let's go do this yeah welcome what's going out then Okay, that's done. You can tell the beaver has disappeared from Rachel's back. And John can ride off to somewhere and wait three or four days, or I think two or three days, and another message will arrive telling John that he has unopened mail. Okay, John's going to stop by the post office in Blackwater and pick up his unopened mail. 
Watch yourself. Good to have you. The letter is from Mrs. Hobbs inviting you to her place by Strawberry because she has managed to get all the animal carcasses she needs. And if he can come by and visit and see the world that we have created together. Um, yeah. Okay. So this begins part one of A Better World, A New Friend. And all John has to do is ride up to Strawberry and Mrs. Hobbs' cabin. Hello, Mrs. Hobbs. Hello, dearie. Hello. Yeah, you said to come call on you? My name's John Marston. I've been sending you the animals for your art. I guess you make clothes or something? Clothes? Oh, no, I don't make clothes, dearie. Come, come. Mm. What do you make? I make art, dearie. Art? Not art, but life. Life as art. Ah. Come, come meet my friends. <laughs> come, come. It's downstairs. Come meet the world you helped build. <laughs> This is... <clears throat> this is... This is quite something. <laughs> it's my life work, dearie. An almighty struggle. <laughs> oh, I love this little fella. He makes me so happy. There's so much life in him, in a way. And look at these three playing poker. Oh, they'll never know who wins because they're all dead. Only it doesn't look like it. Sometimes I, I, I make up little funny voices and I make believe that they're all talking to one another. <laughs> I, I call this guy Percival. I don't know why. Ah. Uh, and these two over here, oh, they're prize fighters. Obviously, there isn't any prize because they're both dead. I tried this with humans once during a, a cholera outbreak. Ah, no, animals are better. Their fur is so nice and, ah. Oh. Um, yeah, I think don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here, please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. You and I are both like God now, in a way. Thanks. I should get going. Yeah, well, maybe when you die, somebody will stuff you. And maybe... Heaven is just like this. Did you ever think of that, dearie? No, I never did. Oh. Be well. Hi. A 
A Better World, A New Friend, Part 1 is complete. Now, Part 2, you actually have to wait until you finish the main epilogue mission, American Venom. And now let's get into Part 2. After you complete American Venom, there will be a question mark on the map right here on the house, the stranger mission. And John can just run down there and let things happen. So, we finally made this family honest, son. That's uh, great, Pa. Hi there, John. What? What is that? It's art. Oh. That's what they call it. Hmm. Food's ready. And that's it. John's going to just settle down and have something to eat with his family and move on in life. Actually, probably got a few more videos to produce. But if you found this one interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week and some specials and some shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Our Student Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.